Hey everybody, welcome to the rest of Mark Garage. We finally made it home from Springfield, Missouri from the NSRA event. Um, Memorial Day weekend. First and foremost, I wanna wish everyone a happy Memorial Day. And I'm, I'm gonna get situated in front of my flag right here because this flag right here represents the freedom that we have to enjoy what we like to do with our cars and trucks and going to cruise ins and car shows and the freedom that we have to do everything that's so enjoyable to life. Thank you for the men and women of the service. If you uh, are active or retired, thank you from the bottom of my heart and my family's heart for what you've done for the country. I just want to get that out of the way real quick. <clears throat> so we got the square body here. Just got back, got bugs all over it. Got the 29 on there where I ran the autocross. And if you hadn't seen that, I got two videos of the autocross. And um, a lot of fun. Man, I had a blast. I mean, a blast. I only ran it twice, but it was still fun. But I broke my truck. <clears throat> so... Oh, I hadn't got it on the lift yet, but if you look, I'm going to try to do this, so bear with me. I have busted a brake line, and there's fluid everywhere up through here. So we will get another look at that later when I get it on the lift, and we'll talk more about that. Turn that light off, and we'll talk about more of that than... Uh, and later, uh, when I get on the lift and get underneath it, <clears throat> I've already ordered new braided brake lines, and uh, for the two on the front and the fl the flex line in the back, I'm just going to replace them all. Those are not that old. I was really upset <clears throat> that um, it was <laughs> it was broke. I mean, it's probably a couple, two, three, maybe four years old, but it's only got eighteen thousand miles on the build, so it's like, eh, it shouldn't have broke. Uh, I don't know what happened but once i get it off i'll inspect it see what happened to it and try to fix it where it don't happen again but uh <clears throat> anyway uh i'll do another video on that and I'm, i want to explain some other things but i just wanted to get that out of the way just to show you kind of what happened other than that truck did flawless uh we've driven this truck a lot had we had so much fun in it me and the wife went on this trip thoroughly enjoyed it a lot of fun Met a lot of people, uh, saw a bunch of old friends, and which I love. I'm a talker anyway, so I like to talk. So it was just an enjoyable weekend getaway for me and her. And so um, it, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, this is a short video. I'm coming up with another one as soon as I get this on the lift. And so we can see what happened to the brake line. So y'all stay tuned. And if you haven't, please like, subscribe and ring that little bell, like my channel, <clears throat> and go back to the two videos I did, three videos from uh, Springfield. One of them is um, just an intro, being there, show a few cars, uh, one of my buddy's cars, a, a 73 Grand Am. They made Grand Ams from 73, four and five. Um, so just three years that they made them, so you don't see many of them. <clears throat> and they're raising them they're rising going up in value because they're so rare so uh cool car and uh just kind of did a short intro on that then the other two videos are um trial one first time i ever ran an autocross and i went in, i sent it i sent her hard i ain't gonna lie about it i went in there hard tire squealing smoking braking spinning out Man, it was fun. I guarantee you it was fun. Second time, I was a little more more reserved. Tried not to get so much wheel hop, so much uh, tire skid on the brakes, and a little more conservative, and I still ran a 4005. So anyway, not bad. It was a lot of fun. That's all that matters. So again, happy Memorial Day, and thank you for all they have served to defend our flag right here. And, you know, God bless America. All right. So we'll see y'all later. Another video coming up uh, very soon.
God bless. We'll see you later.